We are back at the Paula Casino Spa and Resort, a night of fights brought to you by TKO Boxing Promotions. Let's get to our next fight. Let's get to ring announcer Thomas Triber. Ladies and gentlemen, right now at this time, let's welcome to the ring, fighting tonight out of the red corner, Fedor Chudinov. July 10th, Reno, Nevada, he would stop Sean Kirk, a TKO in one. And you are absolutely right, talk about amateur credentials, 170 wins. 2008 bronze medals in the Russian National Championship. He was the world amateur champion in the under-19 grouping. Let's take a look at some of the words of Fedor Chudinov from Brask, Russia. Uh, actually, my trainer doesn't give me only American style. We'll take Mexican style as well and all other styles. So whatever's best for you, I, uh, for uh, whatever's best for me, I pick. So both fighters are in the ring. Let's get them introduced. Let's go up to Thomas Triber. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is being brought to you by Chet Kerner's TKO Boxing Promotions in association with PR Entertainment and the Paula Casino Spa Resort in Paula, California. It is scheduled for four rounds in the super middleweight division. Introducing to you first fighting to my left in the blue corner. He's wearing blue trunks and weighed in at 161 pounds. Coming to us from Hollywood, California, he has 14 professional bouts to his credit. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mikhail the Tsar Luborski. And his opponent across the ring tonight fighting out of the red corner. He's wearing blue trunks with black and silver trim and also weighed in at exactly 161 pounds. Hailing from Serpuhov, Russia, his record consists of one win, no losses, and that one win coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Fedor Chudinov. So here we go, four rounds in the super middleweight division. They each weighed in at 161. You take a look at the height advantage for Luyar Barsky. The reach, that's another advantage for Luyar Barsky. And also the fight reach, he also has a one-inch advantage, but a 10-year advantage in age for Luyar Barsky. We begin round number one, shooting off and Luyar Barsky. What I remember last from Shudanov is he's very, very patient. He's like a baby-faced assassin. He comes in, he gets here, he has very heavy hands, as you can quickly see. Looks like early on he might run right through him. One thing that's not worked well for Miguel Mike Lierbowski, he's KO'd eight times in his career. It doesn't seem like this fight will see the distance, Sergio. No, it will not. Shudanov actually throws great body shots, great uppercuts. He's a complete fighter. As you can see, he landed a left hook right there, overhand right. Oh, there's and a left he hook. Is, he's uh, frozen on the ropes. I don't think he's going to get up. I don't think there's any need for a 10 count. Sergio, he looks like he's knocked out. He has lost his mouthpiece. He looks dazed and disorientated early on here in round number one. Sergio looks more and more like his second pro fight for Fedor Chudinov will not see round number two. Plenty of time left here in the opening stanza. He's a very patient fighter, but he definitely starts really fast with those heavy hands. It shouldn't, it shouldn't, it shouldn't take too long before he's out. And a right hand right over the top that knocks Luyabowski right on the ropes. Another barrage of punches. And the fight, and this is fight over. has been waved off early here in round number one. Vidar Chudinov moves the two and zero with his second professional knockout while Loyabowski suffers his eighth knockout loss. Very impressive, very heavy hands. This is the second time I've seen him, the second time he knocks out someone in one round. Very impressive. That certainly did not take long as we take a look at Mikhail Loyabowski being looked at on a corner stool. I'm not so sure he knows where he's at right now. He took some heavy shots. You could just see the heavy hands of Chudinov early on. Definitely. Uh, these uh, European fighters, usually they have heavy hands, but they move around the ring a lot. They have a stiff way of fighting. But he, shooting off, actually really adopted to the West Coast style of fighting. Boy, Chudinov certainly showing a lot here. Sergio, let's take a look at some of the power shots of Chudinov. The left hook was beautiful, picture perfect. It looked like he was going to be out right there, Uwebarski, but uh, he got up angrily, but he couldn't really do nothing about it. 
and you can see that fight being waved off quickly. I think that last punch was really academic. Uh, the thing about shooting off with these quick fights, Sergio, I think you could really afford to keep him active and busy throughout the year. Definitely. He has a, a, a baby face look, and he's definitely leaving the ring with a baby face look. And uh, he's not taking too many shots, too many punishments. You could definitely keep him keep active and uh, busy. For the official ring announcement, let's go to Thomas Triber. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. One minute, 11 seconds of round number one. Your winner by way of knockout and still undefeated, Fedor Chudanov. Fedor Chudanov moves to two and zero. We come back, we have more boxing.